Hey, this is Scott for Free Bonds. I obtained them. Take a look at this Ugrain M.2 NVMe SSD enclosure with two different ports on it. So you've got some more convenience with that. USB-C with USB-A. Also USB 3.1 Gen 2, 10 gigabits per second maximum. And it supports the M.2 PCIe NVMe SSDs with the size of 2242 or 2280. For the installation, we're gonna have to remove both port covers and then press open a button to pull out the main board. Rotates at an angle of 45 degrees anti-clockwise to release the fastener on the mainboard. And then you insert your M.2 into the slot. After that, we have to attach the fastener and tighten by rotating at an angle of 45 degrees clockwise. And reinstall the case. So it looks like you don't need any type of screwdriver, which is nice. There is some type of screw in this little bag. It's a little plastic nub drive itself. It's got some weight to it. Interesting. Build quality feels pretty good so far. Got the USB-A port on there. On my side, USB-C, so you can connect to phones and similar devices. And we've got the open connection to get it going. So it actually comes with two of those little connectors. And I assume just to, I can leave the this one in there, put the other one in, that makes sense. We have the actual connection point on there for the drive. And you've got the 2242 connection and also the 2280. On the back, you really can't see too much, but there is some ventilation, which is good. I'm gonna try to install it now. We have the uh, NVMe 256 gigabytes from Western Digital with the M key. In this case, I think you need to take this little connection point and put it down there first. I want this pin to go downwards. I'm gonna hold it like that. Take this, put it in <laughs> like so, and slide it into the connection point. Hold it down and lock it in. There we go. It's a little more difficult than you might think because you need to connect this to the drive first and then push it down into the slot, then lock it in. Here is the moment of truth. Kind of awkward how it connects to the device. I, I must have already had it formatted. Which is good but so far and you know, let's reformat it just in case we fall so i think in this situation i want to use ex fat and then set that to whatever clearly the design is a little awkward because the connection points are right on there so we're going at around 280 megabytes a second that could depend on the speed of the drive inside the computer as well next up i have a phone with a usb-c port so with this specific case feels very loose but it did connect you can slide that down there's a little light on there so if i'm careful i think i could use it without removing the case let's try a few files each one of these are around 30 something megabytes each put it into downloads and check out the transfer speed and of course you want to eject once you're done the main takeaway here is that you might have some issues connecting devices to the ports because they're so close to the actual case and it's, you know, it's right there. Otherwise it works well, no issues with it functioning pretty quick. I mean, it depends on your SSD, but yeah. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video on the Ugreen M.2 SSD enclosure with two ports on it. Scott for Bonsai, thanks.